and welcome back to the Heidelberg United ground just before the big clash between these most historic teams, South Melbourne and Heidelberg United. Arthur, Absolutely. let's go back and have a, a talk about these great clubs. Well, there's so much history behind these two clubs. Two of the biggest clubs in Australia, let alone Victoria. And uh, really, uh, as a kid, I used to follow these, uh, the, these games and uh, it was the highlight of the season for me when, uh, as a junior. Same uh, here. This is definitely one of the derbies that you used to look forward to. And uh, today, you see a lot of youngsters. Hopefully, this will continue for the future. But uh, it's the start of a new season. The three points uh, will obviously be good for both sides. I think it will be a closely fought tussle. And it's uh, very hard to see. Uh, I think uh, there could be a draw today in my eyes. So well, some changes certainly with uh, Heidelberg, uh, with uh, Damianos going over, of course, to uh, uh, Oakley. Um, uh, South Melbourne uh, have a few new boys from uh, Trinidad and so on. So uh, qu quite a few changes with both teams. Yes, no doubt. And uh, just uh, South Melbourne probably have a little bit better preparation. As uh, Phil Stubbins had told us earlier on uh, last week, their, their preparation has been a bit stifled. But uh, they probably have a slight edge at the moment. But I think uh, in the end, there's a derby game. And more than likely, uh, for my eyes, I'd probably say to be on the safe side, both fans, I think it would be a draw. A draw. Well, uh, look, Heidelberg, of course, have the... Uh, uh, I suppose being home ground, they might have that uh, advantage. But as you said, Phil did mention to us that his preparation for the season, he really yes. wasn't that happy with it. Whereas uh, we saw South Melbourne in the Hellenic Cup, they certainly looked on fire, even though they lost to Heidelberg 2-1. But uh, with their new players, and they, they really um, uh, are looking uh, a pre pretty strong side as well, aren't they? Yes, they are. They won uh, the Crazy Johns Cup the Crazy uh, Johns, during the week, 2-0 right. uh, against uh, Faulkner. But... Uh, Admittedly, both sides fielding uh, below-strength teams, obviously, for this uh, important game here. And, uh, you know, the teams have got a lot of uh, history behind them, uh, as you have seen in uh, some of the highlights throughout uh, the show. But uh, today, it's a great start to the season, and I hope Fantastic. the Vodafone Cup will bring even better things than it did last season. And, of course, right after this game, we have highlights from uh, the Preston uh, the big clash out there, another Preston great, and uh, the Melbourne derby. Knights. And that's another big derby. So we've derby. got some great, great football coming your way. So uh, why don't we uh, go and settle in, Arthur, to call this great big match between Heidelberg United and South Melbourne. And both teams uh, ready to start the game here. The usual handshake and the South Melbourne lineup for today. The away team, Dean and the Shadows in goals. Arthur Tsonis, number two. Number five, Con Blatzis. Number seven, Evan Karavitis. Number 11, Arthur Tsertis. Number 13, Jonas Sully. Number 14, Rama Tavzanoglu. Number 15, Fernando de Moraes. Number six, Tanzel Beza. Number 18, Scott McNichol. And number nine, Kevin Nelson. And let's have a look at Heidelberg United with Lewisevsky, of course, their goalkeeper. Number two, Roberts. Number three, Jones. Number seven, Westervolt. Number 16, Sumerkis. Uh, number five, Liparotti. Number six, Vasiliadis. Four, Uliaris. Uh, 20, Lagana. 17, uh, Pagisos. And number 10, Marinos. Just about to start here. The Olympic Village. And the crowd slowly coming in, but uh, a little disappointing. Thought uh, there'll be at least another two or 3,000 than what there really is, uh, Ross. Yes, a little bit disappointing, but they're still making their way in. But this ground is in immaculate condition, can I say. It looks absolutely fantastic. Ball played forward. And Tonus headers uh, back to Anastasiadis who was hinting to me that uh, this might be his uh, last season. Mm. Depending on how things go. Yeah, really solid goalkeeper. One of the best that South Melbourne has seen in its colours as Heidelberger on side. But is he has a shot and a goal kick. And Offside was not given, but uh, I'll tell you what, Parisios came very close to scoring there. Long throw again, and a good flick there. Header by Tumerkas. 
Cross into the box. A chance now. Shevsky's dropped it, but uh, somehow got back to it again. No one really challenging him. And as we can see, quite a few hundreds of people have made it into the Heidelberg United ground. Uh, well over, I'd say, 2,500 people here enjoying this beautiful afternoon. Ball played in the box. Chance now for South Melbourne. Good punch there. Caravites. And charged down nicely by Vestervelt. Vasilyad is dispossessed. McNichol. Timoraes. Good ball. And Vestervelt uh, getting forward. There's a chance now. Marinos. And great tackle there just in time there by Con Blutzis. Corner for Heidelberg. Vasiliadis. Vasiliadis again, curling ball. Headed away. Vestervelt. Still Vestervelt. Good ball, Vasiliadis. Deep ball to Merkas. And. Goal kick. Garavid is trying to charge down his man, Marinos. Blutzes. And a chance now for Heidelberg. Corner given. Parisios almost getting the ball. The Warriors to try and get on the score sheet. Another deep corner. The header. And Anastasia is plucking the ball quite easily in the end. Bit of tit for tat there. McNichol. Katsupias. Good ball, McNichol, and charge down by Vasiliad. He's doing really well. Katsupias. Chance now. Plays the ball central. Tiritakis. Tiritakis' ball in the box. McNichol. And he got the ball. No, it's a goal kick. And that's uh, half time here at Olympic Village. Heidelberg Warriors nil, South Melbourne nil. And we'll be back just after a few messages from our sponsors. Just about to start the second half here at Olympic Village, and the score is nil all at the moment. And hopefully, this half will yield some much needed goals because the game really has been pretty stale at the moment. Not many attacks at all. Heidelberg kicking to the goal left of screen. Marinos. Good ball forward there. And Sali thwarting the challenge there. Doing very well yet again. Sirtakis. McNichol. Still McNichol and... Lesevsky getting down early. Still a nil all here at the Olympic Village. Baza. Ramazan. Katsup, yes, onto the ball. And Lesevsky getting up really high there. And getting hurt at the same time. Chance now. Good cross there. Can Vasiliadis get there in time? And another deep cross by Vasiliadis. Missed completely there. Chance for the Warriors. Good work there. McNichol. Great ball there to Sali. Katsupias. Head of four. There's a chance now for South Melbourne. Karavitis. McNichols running forward. Fernando. The header just over the bar. And Blatz is good effort that. He played forward. And McNichol now. South Melbourne going forward. A chance now. And not a great ball forward at all McNichol could have gone a little bit further in and 
A golden opportunity there for South Melbourne to at least get a shot on goal. Baser now. Baser playing across the ground. Zertis. Will he cut it across? Zertis. Back post is free. But no one can get there in time. Fernando. And great ball by Fernando. Zertis. And cleared away. Some good work there by Zertis. Sali. All the way back to Anastasiadis. Very impressed with Sali at the moment. Uh, Arthur, very balanced player. But here, here comes another opportunity. Let's see what they do. And a volley there. And Lou wraps it up. And a bit of excitement coming your way now. I think things are heating up. Uh, this is the business end of the game. Well done there, Blatzis. Zertis, Moraes, Blatzis making a good run. Good cross, but straight into the arms of Asevski. Marinos losing the ball there. Might have got a bit of a push also. There's claims, but Fernando now on the ball. And a free kick given there for obstruction. Six of one and half a dozen of the other. And a card going to Liberati. Sali's gone in the box. Sonus. No one really there. The shot. And Katsupias absolutely shooting way away from goals. Deep ball by Sabliak and Ramazan missing the ball and Vasiliad as a shot was going out but still all alone in that back post. Ball forward now. Tupias doing very well to get to the ball. Fernando the shot. McNichol. Certis. Dispossessed nicely there by Richards. Ball forward. Chance now, Zertis again. A deep ball there, Beza. Beza! And what a chance gone begging there. Shh. Didn't put the foot in. Should have taken a shot. And in the end, Clearly, probably one of the best chances of the game. Let's throw forward. Beza. Bit of room now. Playing the ball wide. Ball in the box. Kazupias is there. Yes, Plantis. No, what a great save. The shot over the bar and the chance of the game gone begging. Absolutely brilliant chance there and Blatzis just over the bar there. Cross now and yes it's in! It's in! South Melbourne! A one that nil up, and it seems like Lewisevsky lost that. And what a tremendous goal! And really, South Melbourne really threatening continuously for the last 20 minutes. And looks like the goal scorer is Sully, the new man. Ball forward now, Heidelberg got a chance. Parisios. And saved there by Anastasia. There's no real sting in that shot. But uh, useful effort that. Straight away there by 
but it's us. Chance again for South Melbourne. Baser now, could it be two? Chipping the keeper. Yes, it's 2-0. Tanzor Baser, you have just about sealed the game for South Melbourne, son. Absolutely tremendous. South Melbourne have ripped out the heart of the Warriors. Plenty of time left in the game, but really South Melbourne have been playing devastating football the last 10 minutes. That was absolute world class. What a lovely little chip. He saw that uh, the goalkeeper was off his line and uh, just in the uh, right hand corner there. Well, what can we say? In a matter of seconds, this game has just turned upside down, hasn't it, Arthur? No doubt it's uh, woken us up. And uh, South Melbourne now. 2-0 up, and it's all over. South Melbourne winning the game here at the Olympic Village, scoring literally on the death there. 2-0 goals from Tanzel Bazer and Sali in his debut game. I've got John and Asasiadis. What a absolute brilliant finish for for your side two goals in the last five minutes of the game the last 20 minutes really told the story in the end yeah well you know we knew Heidelberg um, we're giving up for this game I've been hearing all week they didn't have much of a team but they've got a very good team uh, they've had some good signings and first half was um, it, w it wasn't it wasn't a great game to watch no doubt about it because I think each team was just trying to find each other each other's feet so uh, we came in the dressing room second half and we said that we've got to uh, raise the bar, otherwise we're going to lose the game, simple as that. And uh, the boys, credit, credit to them, they did that. And, uh, you know, the game's 90 minutes, so they took it to the last minutes to score. Well, that gets us to three points, but we don't want to get carried away. It's three points, there's another 25 games to go, so, you know, we've, uh, we're going to take that on board, we're going to be happy with it, but we, we forget about it now, and we look forward to next week. You've got to be happy with winning the game with uh, no real forwards apart from Peter Katsupias uh, playing up front and a lone striker. To win the game as such an important game, uh, without forwards, uh, really, you can only think that uh, with the two inclusions, uh, Nelson and possibly Coveney could even get better for you. Well, you know, at the end of the day, we brought Nelson uh, to partner Coveney. And then, as you know, Coveney went to Newcastle. Nelson had a problem today with his, uh, with his contract, but that's all being rectified. Look, we've got a team of 22 players, okay? Uh, it's not one or two, and, and, and that's the beauty of this team and, and the greatness of this team. And uh, look, I can, I can put anyone in, in any position and I'll play the game. And uh, we found out today from a couple of the fellas. I think uh, Pudi Katsubis up front was superb. He was out jumping some boys who were about, uh, another, uh, about another head taller than him, so it's been, it was great for, for, for Peter. And, uh, you know, let's not forget the new signings like, uh, you know, uh, Jonas Sally. And, uh, you know, he, he had a sterling performance today, I thought. Yeah. Uh, we I'd really say good. man of the match, just about. Well, he's, he's just that, that type of fellow. He plays nice and simple, just does his job. He doesn't let his opponent get a sniff. And, uh, you know, he, he does it so well. Look, uh, it's, it's exciting times for the club. Uh, but, again, it's only three points, only one game. There's another 25 to go. Uh, just uh, all I can say is congratulations and let's hope uh, the season goes from better to better for you and um, we can see some more sterling performances from your side. Thanks very much. Thank you. I've got Phil Stubbins, the coach of the Heidelberg Warriors. Phil, uh, last uh, five minutes ended up uh, all coming undone for you there. Yeah, look, it's always disappointing to lose the derby against South Melbourne. Um, I felt in the first half we did very, very well. Probably unlucky... Not to go in at half time, maybe a goal to the good. To South's credit, they kept plugging away, and I think um, at the end of the day, I've said it for quite some time, our preparation basically caught up with us, Arthur, um, or lack of it. And we ran out of legs, possibly in the last 15, where South really came into the game and probably deserved to get the win in the end. I was very impressed with uh, Tumerkas. I thought he had a very good game, uh, first game for you this season. And uh, also Richards came on, uh, you can see that he knows what he's doing. Uh, hopefully things will uh, open up for you. Again, Lewisevsky in goals was brilliant. Unfortunate with uh, that first goal. Uh, did you think it was a clash with the goalkeeper? Did you think it was a free kick? Look, I've yet to speak to Lou about the goal. I mean, it looks as though if, it's, if you're scoring from two yards out, there's got to be some questions asked um, of the goalkeeper. 
in reference to Lee Summer, because Lee's come obviously he's an ex Heidelberg boy and he's um, he's got a lot of experience with the club. Again, there's a player that's only had two weeks of training, so again, South Melbourne it's a pretty stand task. But I think he did quite well and acquitted himself well for the 75 minutes that he was on. Well, uh, who have you got next week? Uh, next week, another solid game for you? Yeah, we've got an easy game next week. We've got possibly the strongest squad in the league, in my opinion, in Oakley, away at um, Jack Edwards Reserve. But um, look, hopefully we can pick ourselves up. There's nothing to complain about in terms of the first 70 minutes that we put out. It was just um, levels of fitness, I think, that caught up with us out there. All I can say is no doubt uh, I'm sure that we'll see Heidelberg Warriors uh, in the upper echelons of the ladder because I'm sure that the squad you have uh, should take you into the final series from what I saw today. Look, we're very confident. I think um, progressively we're hoping that we'll get a lot stronger than what we were today in terms of our fitness and everything else. We've got good depth this year, so things are looking quite bright on the horizon in terms of getting the squad um, as strong as possible. So I don't think we've got any problems. It's a long season, as we all know. It's 25 games to go for us now, so I think we should be OK, mate. All right, congratulations uh, on uh, a successful year last year, and hopefully this year will be a good one for you too. Yeah, we're hoping the same, Arthur. Thanks.